Hello everyone, welcome to Vishesh Educational Videos. In this video, I am explaining about software maintenance. Software maintenance means once the software got delivered to the customer, what are the things you should take care of, right? So if you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. To get the notification of my new videos, please click the bell icon. And please don't forget to like the video and please don't forget to share the video with your friends. So what is software maintenance? Software maintenance is the general process of changing a system after it has been delivered. Yes. You are going to deliver the software uh, to the customer when it is completed. Even after complete, uh, even after delivering the software, sometimes you need to do the changes to that uh, system. So that is called as maintenance. For example, changes means uh, you may do bug fixes. That means error corrections. And if a customer tell any changes, uh, you need to do that changes also. So these changes, bug fixing. Uh, comes under software maintenance right so and the one thing the term is usually the maintenance is usually applied to custom software in which separate development uh, development groups are involved before and after delivery that means custom software means uh, general purpose software means uh, there uh, it is not specific for the group of customers right but custom software means it is a uh, it is like application softwares, uh, they are mainly intended for group of users. There, a separate team will be involved in maintaining the software after delivery, right? Because as a client, I do need some changes. So when I need some changes, so I should have a separate groups to do that maintenance, right? For example, the changes made to the software may be simple changes like uh, to correct coding errors or more extensive changes to correct design errors, right? And also if any new requirements are needed, then you should accommodate the new requirements. These are all comes under software maintenance, right? For example, assume that uh, uh, I have a banking software. So to that banking software, if I want to uh, add an extra feature like uh, tracking the customer uh, information, I should add that uh, uh, I should add that new feature even after the delivery also if a customer wants. So that may be the maintenance, right? And uh, these changes comes uh, with the maintenance. What are the changes like uh, coding errors or uh, adding new requirements, right? These changes are implemented by modifying the existing system components and where necessary and by adding new components to the system that means while you are doing the changes you are doing the changes to your existing system only so you should do the changes in such a way that uh, the new change should not affect the operation of your software that is very important right and so if I say a software maintenance, there are three different types of software maintenance. First one is fault repairs and also I can call it as corrective maintenance. For example, coding errors, right? These coding errors needs to be corrected, right? And these coding errors are relatively cheap to correct. But design errors, if you have done any design related errors, those errors are more expensive because uh, design errors may involve rewriting several program components. Again, you have to rewrite the program if design errors occur, right? But requirements are requirements error are the most expensive than design error because uh, requirements is a starting phase. If you do the mistakes in the first phase only, you have to repeat all the other steps. That's why uh, uh, requirements error are very costly, right? So. Uh, this maintenance uh, fault repairs this type of coding error repairs uh, design error repairs comes under fa fault repairs this is uh, first type of maintenance and the second thing is environmental adoption that is like adaptive maintenance uh, this type of maintenance is required in some aspect of the system environment such as hardware or the platform or the operating system or other support soft other support software changes for example uh, uh, so assume that you developed your software for windows environment uh, now you want to uh, made the you want to make that software compatible to unix also 
दिट दिट मे बी कॉल्ड एज अडाप्टिव मेन्टेनेंस बिकॉज द एनवाइरमेंट इज चेंज फ्रॉम विंडोज टू यूनिक्स नाउ यू हैव टू चेंज युअर साफ्टवेयर फ्रॉम ऑपरेटिंग टू विंडोज टू यूनिक्स दो सो दिस कम्स अंडर द अडाप्टिव मेन्टेनेंस सो द अप्लीकेशन मस्ट बी मॉडिफाइड टू अडाप्ट इट टू कोप दिस एनवाइरमेंटल चेंजेस इवन इफ यू डू दिस चेंजेस एनवाइरमेंटल चेंजेस यू शो युअर साफ्टवेयर शुड बी इन ए पोजिशन टू रन विदउट एनी प्रॉब्लम इवन इफ इट्स फॉर एक्सापल ऐ टोल्ड यू राइट इवन इफ इट्स इन लाइन एक्स आलसो इट शुड रन आर इवन इफ इट्स इन विंडोज आलसो युअर साफ्टवेयर शुड रन राइट एंड द नेक्स्ट चेंजेस फंक्शनलिटी एडिशन ऐ टोल्ड यू फंक्शनलिटी एडिशन मीन्स दिस कैन बी आलसो कॉल्ड एज परफेक्टिव मेन्टेनेंस दैट मीन्स इफ ए कस्टमर वॉन्ट्स टू हैड द न्यू फंक्शनलिटी इफ ए कस्टमर वॉन्ट्स टू हैड द न्यू फीचर right you should be in a position to add that feature to your software so i told you this type of maintenance is necessary when the system requirements change in response to organizational or business changes in simple words if a customer wants to add new requirements so if you in a uh, right uh, if a customer wants to add new features then you should be in a position to add that feature right that is also comes under maintenance even if your software is delivered already some errors may be there from changes you want to add so you need to uh, do the maintenance of the software once it is delivered it's not finished after delivery also you need some changes you need to error fix some errors suppose if you want to do some environmental changes you have to do that right so maintenance comes under uh, comes after delivery of the software and one more important thing maintenance budget maintenance budget is spent on implementing new requirements then on fixing bugs uh, bugs because fixing bugs is relatively cheaper you know that maintenance means most of the times it is spent on implementing new requirements it is used to add new requirements right for example this uh, diagram shows the distribution of maintenance costs see for example you see here fault repair to do the fault repair of your software 17% of the maintenance cost will be uh, spent for environmental adoption 18% of the cost will be sent uh, spent but functionality addition that means to add the new feature to add a new requirement almost 65% of the maintenance cost is sp- uh, spent so by looking at this you can understand that so maintenance means most of the times it will be uh, re- fault repair and environmental adoption maintenance costs are very less compared to the functionality addition so most of the maintenance cost is spent on functionality addition because of some business changes our customer wants it uh, we need to add that features to our software right and one more important thing it is usually more expensive to add functionality after a system is in operation that means Uh, if you want to add a extra feature after it is delivered to the customer the cost to add that extra feature to your software will be very much higher why there are some reasons why there uh, the cost to add the extra feature to my software is costlier why means first reason team stability team stability after a system has been delivered it is normal for the development to be to be broken up and for people to work on new projects obviously when a software is, uh, is pro- delivered to the customer uh, whoever the people uh, those who are working on that particular software development will be allocated to some other work right and the new team or the individual responsible for system maintenance do not understand the system or the background to the system design decisions so when Uh, when you assign a new people to your uh, software maintenance those people don't understand the actual system properly because the development team that is actually developed that software will be allocated to different other projects so when you if uh, same people are there no problem they will understand they can do the maintenance but the new people uh, right uh, who is assigned for that project uh, they don't know the background of your software right so that's why these new people need to spend time to understand the existing system before implementing the changes to it right they need to understand the system first then they can add the changes to it so this is very difficult job right understood so uh, old people will be allocated to the new project 
so obviously new uh, people will be allocated to the maintenance so main uh, new people take more time to understand the uh, software and to make changes to it that is one reason that's why uh, it is costlier to add extra feature to your software next poor development practice that means the contract to maintain a system is usually separate from the system development uh, contract that means uh, when you sign a contract uh, usually what happens means the maintenance contract will be separate the development contract will be separate right the maintenance contract may give uh, may be given to a different company rather than the original system developer this is a huge problem because uh, the software is developed by one company and they are giving the maintenance to another company right so the obviously if you want to make changes this new company has to spend lot of time to understand that and then they has to add the fee feature that's why this is one more reason next staff skills maintenance staff skills what is that maintenance staffs are often relatively inexperienced and unfamiliar with the application domain obviously maintenance staff are not familiar with the development uh, related activities right and uh, one more thing in a software industry maintenance has a poor image maintenance is always seen as a less skilled process than system development and also most of the times maintenance is uh, maintenance is allocated to most junior staff so this skills because this uh, new uh, new people uh, doesn't have that skill to do the maintenance of this particular software and also furthermore old system may be written in uh, obsolete programming languages that means uh, Uh, assume that uh, my software is written uh, written in C programming language, but my new maintenance staff doesn't have much experience in C programming language. <coughs> so this may be the problem because the maintenance staff doesn't have much experience in this particular languages. This is also a reason. And lastly, program agent structure. program agent structure as changes are made to the programs their structure tends to degrade obviously when you do the sorry uh, when you do the changes to the program obviously the uh, structure of the program uh, right changes and also as programs age they become harder to understand and change some system may have been developed without modern software engineering techniques assume that uh, you have developed the software 15 years back now if you want to do the changes to that software it will be very difficult right so that is the reason uh, the maintenance will be harder right so that's it guys hope you understood the concept suppose if you have any doubts please post your doubts in the comment section thank you thank you for watching the video